Welcome back to Sports Corner. I'm here with Lauren Talbert, a Natrona County High School grad, now competing in track and field for Kansas State. And Lauren, you're a second team All-American in the pentathlon, first team All-American in the heptathlon a couple weeks ago. So how would you sum up your junior season at Kansas State? Oh my gosh. Um, it's been a long journey getting to this point. It's definitely been a process, but um, this year I've really progressed and I'm really happy with where I'm at right now. I know a lot of our viewers have probably seen our Kelly Walsh grads and our NC grads moving on in several different sports. What advice would you give somebody trying to make the jump from high school athletics to college athletics? Um, start from a young age and definitely just push yourself um, in the summer. Do um, camps and anything you can get yourself into. Go to track meets. I went to national meets and that really helped me um, get to where I am. So you recorded a few personal bests at nationals in Austin, Texas. How do you prepare to be your best on the biggest stage like that? Um, just I, I go into every practice like it's a meet. So I compete with my teammates every practice, and we push each other and act like it's a meet. That's gotten me to where I am. And you've got a very loving family, the Tauber family. Uh, Teresa, your mother's here. Robert emails me almost everything you do, which I love. Keeps me <laughs> up to date. How has that family presence uh, kept you you know, motivated and, and encouraged you along the way. Oh, I wouldn't be where I am without them. Um, they've taken me to so many track meets, uh, took me to all my college visits, and kind of got a feel for um, all the colleges, and then I took my official visits after that. So they've definitely just helped me um, succeed and just push me to um, reach my goals. And now your brother Harrison's going to lead as a quarterback for Natrona mm -hmm. County High School, so watch out for that in the fall. And not only are you having success as far as a Wyoming young lady in college, but you got Kelly Walsh grad, Jerea Davis, an All-American mm -hmm. from the Pokes, and Wingalith, second team All-American as well, along with Jerea competing for Oregon State. So what's it like for all three of you kind of coming through the ranks together and succeeding in college as well? It was just so cool that all of us could be at Nationals together, um, all coming from Wyoming and competing with each other uh, throughout high school. Um, it just means a lot that we can represent Wyoming um, on the national stage. So what are some of those conversations like? Because I am not a top-level athlete, but when you have several top-level athletes, what do you guys discuss um, at meets like that? Um, just like how happy we are to be here and how all our hard work has paid off. Um, and just like kind of looking back at where we were, you know, in high school and in junior high. Um, it's just really special, and I think we all, once we get to that stage, we're just all having fun and enjoying the moment. I know it's just after Nationals, and you kind of just got back into town after a trip, but what have some people said to you about how well you're doing at the college level here in Casper? Oh, they're just so happy and excited for me. Um, I've had so much support in Casper and um, in Wyoming and from all my family and friends, so I'm super blessed um, to have all of them. So what does the training look like for you as a junior with this much success, but trying to improve on it as a senior. Yeah, uh, I feel like I definitely have a lot more room to improve um, in my throwing events and in my jumping events. So hopefully that will help me get over 6,000. And once I get over 6,000 points, um, I think I can go to the next level after college. So I definitely have goals for myself still, and I'm really happy where I am at right now, but I'm excited to see what's next. So what are some of the goals, if you were to put them on paper, for your senior year and then beyond after that? Uh, well, after NCAAs next year, two weeks after is the Olympic trials. So definitely want to try and make it there and then hopefully keep on training and see if I can make the Olympics one day. Well, congratulations to you, Lauren. Thank Thanks you. for coming in. Appreciate it. Great to see a Casper success story there, Lauren Talbert. And we'll be right back with some more Sports Corner in just a moment.